Ganda naman ang mga ngiti ninyo. Uh, today, I will be your preacher na pastor. And for those who do not know me yet, I'm Kathy Ridoble, uh, junior pastor. Junior daw. <laughs> now, one of the ACCI faith goal for this 2019 is to equip the all ACCI members, equipping our heart, mind, and souls. To achieve victory through faith. How do you like it? Okay ba? So that's why we have this uh, series, nine-part series on the book of Joshua. And we entitled it as Joshua, Faith is the Victory. And Pastor Willie had preached for two consecutive Fridays about moving forward in God's power and fight in the position of victory. Today... Another faith that we can witness in the book of Joshua, that faith is an action word. Action talaga yun. That we have to initiate first before we can see the deliverance of the Lord. Amen? So our title for... Dito pala. Our title for today, preaching today, is The, the Altar of God, Our Spiritual Markers. Uh, ayun na ba? Uh, altar of God, our spiritual markers. And our, and our anchor verse. Santo. Ito? Okay. Uh, our scripture readings is our Joshua chapters 2 to 4. May si lang naman, no? Three chapters lang naman. Sabi ko nga, pabasahin ko na lang kaya sila. Tapos ng preaching. Oral reading na lang. And our, but ganun dya? Uh, our anchor verse is taken from the book of Joshua 4, 24. He, he did this so that all the peoples of the earth might, might not know that the hand of the Lord is powerful, so that you might always fear the Lord your God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, sa araw na ito, Lord. Thank you so much, O Lord, for uh, the opportunity and privilege, O Lord, that you have given to us, O Lord, to listen to your words. Thank you also, O Lord, for trusting me, O Lord, that I can share your, share your word, O Lord, uh, and hide me behind your cross, O Lord. Let me decrease while you increase, O Lord, that your name will be lifted up today, O Lord. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, I will go through with you uh, chapter by chapter. So in chapter 2, uh, Joshua, the Lord God promised to Joshua a, uh, a land somewhere in the Palestine, specifically Jericho, which is near in the river banks of Jordan River. Now, God said to Joshua, you have to see this land. So in Joshua sent two spies to go, uh, to go there to have a survey. Diba? Parang ano lang, no? To have a survey to, to spy out the land of the Palestine. Now, they went to the... The, he, the two spies stayed in the house of Rahab. Bakit kay Rahab? Bakit kay Rahab na prostitute? Well, a, throw, uh, 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 a brothel, alam nyo yun, yung bahay ng mga prostitute, tinatawag sa atin yung kasa. El Casa. Doon sa bahay na yun, logically, what is being said and done there must be kept secret. Diba? So, dapat lang napupunta sila doon <clears throat> na since meron silang uh, meron silang gagawin na in secret. So, doon sila nagtago. But, the king, someone told the king that there were men who is spying their land. And so the king said to Rahab, can you bring out those men there? Because these men will spy out our land. But Rahab said, well, I don't know who are they and where they came from. But they just went, they left. 
sabi niya. Now, if you hurry, you, you maybe catch them. So, the men, so, inano, hinanap ng mga tao yung dalawang spies. And then, at the night, Rahab went at the roof where she was hidden, the two men. And she said that, you know what? I believe that the Lord God will give you this land. Because all of us here were very terrified for the, your, the Lord your God that you have. We, uh, we, we know that how he parted the, the sea when you left Egypt, sabi niya ganun. And we believe that that is true. Hindi yan fake news, sabi niya. So, I believe that this land is really intended for you. Now, sabi niya, since I have given you the favor that, you know, I saved you from this man, can I ask a favor? Sabi niya. Can you, when you come here and conquer this land, that the Lord God will give you this land, can you be kind to me and to all my family? Yung bang, pwede bang isave niyo kami? So, sabi nung dalawang spies, okay. If you are just, if you don't betray us, why not? Sabi niyang ganoon. So we will serve our, we will give our lives to you in a, in a kapalit doon sa, sa pag-save mo sa amin. So, to make the story short, uh, because that, uh, the, the house of uh, Rahab was built on the town wall of the Jericho, so hinayaan niyang bumaba sila through the rope. So sabi nung uh, two spies, sabi niya, Okay, uh, para magkaroon tayo ng sign, you have to hang this rope when we come here. So, and your fa family must be inside your house. Now ngayon, kung lalabas sila at mamatay, hindi namin yung responsibilidad. But if someone will happen to you inside your house, then we will be accountable to that. So, okay, that's the deal. So, nung uh, bumalik na sila, sinabi nila kay Joshua lahat na nangyari. And they said that this land talagang atin to because they were terrified on us. Okay, now here's a huge territory, a, a huge real estate that the Lord entrusted to Joshua. So, what he did is that he looked at it as an opportunity. He don't look at it as a problem, or kaya ko ba to? And then he survey. Nagpa-survey siya, di ba? So, when there's something that you, there's a, pag naniwala kayo na may promise Panginoon sa inyo, you have to survey that. You have to study on that. Even in a ministry, even in work, you have to survey. Even in a relationship. Hindi yung sugod ka lang ng sugod, ligaw ka lang ng ligaw. Kaya, Ati Beng, natagalan kami kasi ang haba ng survey. <laughs> diba? Haba ng survey. Eh, sabi nga ni Papi, mabuti ng malungkot ka ngayon kaysa malungkot ka sa habang panahon. So that's what uh, Joshua did. Si Norvay niya. And then, after that, ning si Norvay niya, Uh, oh, there are opportunities in our lives na kailangan talaga nating uh, magnamnam, magmasid. Mag, mag, Kasi hindi lahat ng open doors ay galing sa Panginoon. Open doors pala yun, tapos pagpasok mo, walang floor, hindi hulog ka. Diba? So you have to, to check for yourself. Not, not all the opportunities are coming from the Lord. So, now, Uh, uh, the Lord said to him that I have given you the victory. My promises si pang, ang Panginoon na meron ng victory, but it's up to us to look at it. Paano? Now, He may be promised to you about not just financially, but also spiritually and emotionally. Maybe He promised you peace, but you can have it. You cannot have it kasi ang dami mong utang. Or joy, but you have facing yung, yung mga circumstances sa buhay nyo. But only you have to do is to survey 
kung ano talaga ang, gust- ang gagawin mo. Now, bakit nasali dito si Rahab? Here's Rahab, a prostitute. But God sees something in her heart na talagang siya yung pinuntahan. Because Rahab has the heart of worship. Alam niyo yun? And you know what happened to her? Grabe. Because when you read the Matthew of chapter 1, you will see the name of Rahab there in the line age of Jesus Christ. Di ba? A prostitute naging line age ni Jesus Christ. What amazing works of the Lord. Yeah. Amen po ba? So, if you think that you are in a sweet situation right now na failed ka or, you know, parang helpless ka, then you, if you think that the Lord God cannot use you, you're wrong. Do not underestimate the works of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Who knows? Noon nga, akala ko, I never dreamed na I could be a pastor. I never, hindi ko talaga iniisip yan. Akala ko nga mag-artista ako. <laughs> but ayaw niyo niyo. Kaya lang, God has a bigger plans for me. And this is it. Amen? So now, in Joshua 3, let's go to the Joshua 3. So ngayon, nakasurvey na sila. Bumalik na sila. So alat na nila ngayon ang gagawin. Ngayon, in the, in the following morning, Joshua, they left there in Akasha Grove. And then, after three days, the officers give an instructions to the Israelites. Sabi nila, okay, once you see the Le- Levitical priest, you have to follow them. They will bring the Ark of the Covenant. Alam nyo, yung Ark of the Covenant, ang loob noon is the Ten Commandments of the Lord that has given to Moses. So for them, it is very secret. It is very powerful. There's a power on it, and the presence of the Lord is in it. And then, sabi niya, you have to follow it since you do not know the way to go. So you have to focus and follow it. And Joshua said that today, the Lord will be with you. And today, you have to consecrate yourself. You have to purify yourself because tomorrow, you will see the miracle of God. So ngayon, ang ginawa nila, yung mga priests, nauna na sila. Nauna silang lumakad. Then, sabi ng Panginoon, okay, tell the priest to step on the water and the, and the water will dry up. So ang ginawa, nag-step ang mga priests and the water parted. Alam niyo yun? Nag-split siya sa gitna. And these waters becomes wall. May imagine niyo yun? And, and uh, the men now are starting to, to cross across the Jordan. Ngayon, bakit hinihintay ng Panginoon na mag-step ang mga priest? Why he just don't say that, okay, dito muna kayo, i-split ko, Ay, sige, daan na kayo. Why? Because God, the Lord God wants them to follow His instruction. He wants them to trust in Him. Amen. Amen? In our lives, you know, when there is an opportunity, when there is um, promises of the Lord, what you are going to do, there are three instructions that Joshua mentioned. You have to sanctify yourself. You have to be clean. When you have to when you wish to have a ministry in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have to be clean. Hindi pwedeng worship ka ng worship dito, inum ka naman ng inum dito, sigarilyo dito, kanta dito. Parang ano, you have to be clean. You have to sanctify yourself. And then you have to follow the commandments of the Lord. Kasi sinabi ni Joshua, follow that Ark of Covenant. And then after that, you step in you step in. Minsan kasi sa atin, mahilig tayong mag-step in. Step in, step out. Urong sulong, di ba? And you know what the, 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 the priests did? They stand out. They stood up there for a long time hanggang nakatawid yung mga Israelites. So once you step in, stand firm. Hindi yung 
wow, bago ang work ko ngayon. Excited ka, umagang-umaga. Maagang-maaga. How many days? Parang ayoko na sa work ko. Di ba? Sa ministry, wow, mag-worship service kami. Sa ano ako, sa, sa worship ministry. Ah, excited. Araw-araw, nag, nagpa-practice. Mga ilang buwan na lang, nawala. Sa ushering, ang aga-aga. No, wala pa, hindi pa nagbukas. Kanina nga, nung dumating ako, bakit anong oras na ba? Wala pang bukas. <laughs> Tapos, pagkalaunan, late na. Usher, late. Di ba? Once you step in, you stand firm. Amen. That's why, hindi tayo nakatagal sa isang bagay because we don't stand firm. So, the, the commands of the Lord, once He will give you a promise, any kind of promises, though it's an opportunity, uh, a promise to prosper you, to give you hope and a future, you have to sanctify yourself, focus on the Lord, follow the instruction, step in, kasi yun yung pinaka, uh, pinaka, alam mo yun, yung pinaka height doon, when you initiate, you step in, and then stand firm. Amen? So, now, gaya rin sinabi ko, bakit hindi, inala, ay, bakit hinintay pa talaga ng Panginoon na mag-stand, mag-step in ang mga priests? Because God wants them, I uh, wants them to trust Him. Because God will not do a miracle for you to, for you to have a greater faith. He wants to do a miracle for you because you have faith in Him. Even as small as mustard seed, kaya niyang palakihin yun. Okay? So, parang na, naaliw ako na wala na. Hindi <laughs> na ako nakafollow. <laughs> Excited kasi. So, yun yung sinasabi niya, consecrate yourself. Okay? So, Okay, for the chapter 4, uh, this is where uh, the God, God instructed Joshua to bring or to bring with them the 12, stri uh, 12 tribes. Okay, sabi niya, magdala ka ng 12 men and instruct them that they have to take a stone. Okay, so kumuha sila ng stone where the Ark of the Covenant was there and then where the uh, the priests were standing. So, kumuha sila, and then they pile it in a camp na kung saan sila nagstay. And then Joshua also uh, took some stone and ilagay niya doon sa the Ark of the Covenant, doon mismo sa river. Now, Joshua said that we have to build a memorial. Sabi niya ganun. So that in the future, if your children will ask, what is this stones all about? Tell them this. This is where, this is when the, the Lord parted the Jordan River, na naging na dried up siya and the, the men across the river. Uh, ito rin ang ginawa niya nung dried up niya yung sea. So I believe that sina, nung sinabi niya na for for your children, I believe that hanggang sa atin yun. That's the purpose for us to have an idea how powerful God is. Amen? God is a God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So He is the same uh, with uh, uh, Jacob uh, and Moses and Joshua. Yung araw na yun pala, sabi ni ng Panginoon kay Joshua, Today, I'm gonna make you a great leader in the eyes of the Lord. In the, uh, the eyes of uh, Israel, sabi niyang ganon. I will show to them that I, uh, that I am with you. Just as the same that I was with Moses. So natupad yun. That day, Joshua become, became a great leader with the Israelites. Are you with me? So, now, this memorial is not just for, you know, for us also to remember kung ano yung mga pinagdaanan ng mga Israelites na napakalaki naman compare sa kung ano may yung pinagdaanan natin. Amen po ba? And we will use this uh, acrostic like 
to remember kabilat nga eh wala siya so we will use the acrostic altar for us to remember how the works of the Lord in his hands so always remember a always remember it's God's hands not ours so you see sabi ni Joshua dito tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord when it crossed the Jordan the waters of the, the Jordan were cut off and these stones are to be memorial to the people of the Israel forever. So it means to say that when they took the 12 stones, it's, it's not for us to remember the priests who were standing there. Napakalinaw po, sabi niya. The, the Jor Jordan was cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. So we have to praise the Lord. We have to acknowledge God of what He did to our lives. Amen. Sometimes kasi, you know, we did things, we overcome circumstances without acknowledging the works of the Lord. Parang, okay lang. Ako naman ang may gawa nun eh. And if you did that, it will be meaningless. The time that you uh, overcome with the help of the Lord, pag in-acknowledge mo siya, ang sarap ng feelings, di ba? Pero kung hindi, nagmukmuk ka lang, Wala, parang meaningless talaga siya. So you have to, to, to uh, acknowledge the hands, the work of the Lord in our lives. So letter T, L, L pala, pinapos ko kagad eh. Light up your life with God's word. Okay. Talaga dapat tayo mga ACCI will read the Bible. Read your Bible personally. When, it, when, when I say personally, make it personal. Hindi yung ito para to kaya no eh. Dapat nabasa niya to eh. Mga tipong ganon. <laughs> I, I, ano ko kaya sa kanya? ba? Mga tipong ganon. Oo. Uh, you know, you sometimes, there are times na you're so down. Alam mo yun. But when you read the Bible, nag-na-uplift ka eh. I remember one time when I was... Uh, Condemned by the enemy. Mahilig talaga siya mag sa akin. Yung bang, you are not worthy leader. You are not worthy to be a pastor. Alam mo yung mga tipong ganun. And you should know who is your enemy. And of course, he will use someone who is close, close to your heart. Yun yung masakit. ba? Alam niya talaga kung si, ano yung weakness mo. So, I was really down that time. And... Sabi ko nga, Lord, parang ayaw ko naman pumunta ng church kasi feeling ko, I'm not worthy. Hindi pala ako effective na leader. Sabi kong ganun. So, hindi na lang kaya ako mag-church. Pero kailangan eh. I have to overcome this. So, ang ginawa ko, nag-church talaga ako. Kaya lang nakalimutan ko yung wallet ko. So, naghingi ako kay Roda. Rod, may ano ka ba dyan? May pera ka ba dyan? <laughs> Alam mo yung nag-taxi, walang wallet. Alam mo yun? But the Lord God is so faithful that he will use people who will encourage you. He will send their messages. Galing pa yan siya sa America. Alam mo yun? Hindi mo alam na paano nangyari yun that he will inspire you. He will encourage you. And then in the following morning, he confirmed na I am worthy. Sabi niya ganun. Meron nga akong binasa dito yung sa 2 Timothy 3.16. Ay, hindi na yan. Ba't nawala? Don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body, sabi kanon. Don't be afraid who wants to kill your body. Because the Lord God, meron yung, uh, oh, wala yun. Na, there's a sparrow, a sparrow, sabi niyang ganon, that this sparrow, you are more worthy than them, the flock. You are more worthy to the sparrow, yung flock talaga. And you know what sparrow is? A small bird. A small bird that God still care. Sabi ko, Lord, ibig sabihin, I'm more valuable to them. Sabi ko, Lord, thank you so much, oh Lord, na remind mo that may meaning pala yung life ko. Sabi ko, I know that I am small, literally, but I believe I am big in the eyes of God. 
big as in beautiful, independent woman of God. <laughs> diba? Lord, thank you, Lord. So it will really uplift you. It will really light up your life with God's word. Kaya, I dare you to read the Bible. It's not for me alone, no? Pero para sa atin yung lahat. So, now tell about your spiritual markers. In Isaiah 12.4, it says that in that day you will say, Give praise to the Lord, proclaim His name, make known among the nations what He has done, and proclaim that His name is exalted. So, tell your spiritual markers with the Lord. So, just being, ano yun, yung mag-stand up for Jesus ka dito. Diba? Telling your whatever circumstances that you are facing, yung mga spiritual markers mo, kailangan you have to share it. You have a unique story. And if you don't share it, then it will lost forever. So, you have to, to uh, tell people. Like nangyari kay ano, the Samaritan woman, when he encountered Jesus Christ, he tells, he told everybody, lalo na dun sa mga kasamba, sa, sa bayan niya. And you have to, to do that. Amen po ba? So now, apply your learnings from the spiritual markers and be a blessing or discipline. You know, I believe that uh, the reason that why, while, uh, you know, that uh, I'm still standing here in front of you preaching, in spite the fact that 12 days from now, I will be a jobless. 12 days from now. But, sabi ko, Lord, hindi naman to bago sa akin. Again, spiritual marker ko na rin to eh. And, sabi ko, kasi before, uh, our company, hindi nila nirenew yung, yung, uh, uh, yung contract ko. But that time, sabi ko sa Panginoon, Lord, bakit ganun? Hindi pa ako pastor nun. Bakit ganun? Eh, nasa comfort zone na ako eh. Okay na yung buhay ko dito eh. but kailangan ko pang magdumaan ng trials? Eh, anak mo naman ako, di ba? Sabi ko ganun. But the Lord reminded me na, na, Ano na, kailangan mo nang, kailangan ka nang i-evict dyan, sabi niyang ganun. Because you are in a comfort zone. And that day, when my, uh, my doctor told me that they're gonna remove me, there was peace in my, my, in my heart. And, pero iba na ngayon re- yung reaction ko. Ang reaction ko is that, wala akong reaction eh. May peace of mind ako. I have joy in my heart because of the word of God uh, to, uh, spoke to me that in the morning. Na sinabi niya sa akin na his path is, you know, the best path that I could uh, walk. And he, he, he spoke to me about the uh, feeding of 5,000. Now, if you just have a resources, which is trust and faith, he can make it bigger. So, nag-iba na. Nag-iba na. At nasabi ko sa sarili ko, nag-mature din pala ako spiritually. Kasi dati ang reaction ko, Lord, but ganun? Eh, anak mo naman ako. But today, I have na-overwhelm talaga yung puso ko. Na, un, not, un, hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa rin feel na, alam mo yun, may nag-message niya sa akin, ano, nakapag- Hanap ka na ba ng work? nag apply ka na ba? Sabi ko, hindi pa eh, kasi busy pa ako magagawa ng preaching. Alam mo yun? <laughs> Sabi ko, unahin ko pa ba yun? Eh, eh, wala, matagal pa yun eh. Sabi ko, maggagawaan mo na ako ng preaching. Because that day, I believe that God will speak to them. Amen, Amen po ba? So you have to apply. Now, letter R, record your spiritual markers. So he did this so that all the peoples of the earth might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful so that you might always fear the Lord your God. So record your spiritual markers. You can record it on your journal. Kaya lang ako hindi talaga ako marinong mag hindi ako I mean yung magsulat ng journal, hindi ako ganoon eh. 
But you know what? There's one time that I, I, I really sinulat ko talaga yung nangyari sa akin. It was the time when I was so down because yun nga, feeling useless, feeling ano. Alam mo kasi, masyado akong concerned kung ano yung feeling, kung ano yung sasabihin ng Panginoon sa buhay ko. Kasi yung bang iniisip mo siya, natatay mo siya. Alam mo yun na gusto mo na proud siya sa iyo. That not just in the day that you will face to face together na sasabihin niyang I'm proud of you. Gusto ko ngayon. So, nawalan kami ng life lesson, uh, two life lesson, at yun nga, na UTI kami. Umibig, tapos siniwan. And then, I was so down that time na parang, Lord, may silbi pa ba ako? And then one one person asked me, Kumusta na po kayo? Sabi ko, I don't know. I don't know. And I was crying that time in the following morning. But I read in 1 Samuel 12.20 that it says that, sabi niya doon, we, we, you did wicked things, yet do not turn away from the Lord. Serve the Lord with all of your heart. Amen. Sabi ko, wow. Ganun pala si Lord, no? Yung kahit nagkulang ka, pero he, he don't care as long as you will not turn away, you, you don't turn your back on Him. So after that, nanood ako ng uh, YouTube and there was this program uh, na discussing about the spiritual dryness and the, the, the host said to the guest, he said, okay, tell to this person who has, who's watching right now of what God wants to say to her or him. At sabi ng guest, sabi niya, you know, as you watch today, the Lord, may, maybe you, you may say that you don't know where you are right now. Sabi ko, paano niya nalaman na sinabi kong I don't know? Maybe you don't know where you're going through. Maybe you don't know where you are heading to. But the Lord God knows. And he said to me, to you right now, that it's not yet over. Amen. Parang tumindig yung balahibo ko. And sabi niya, you know, if you are spiritually dry, if, if you are spiritually dehydrated, sabi niya, just drink the living water, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. And sabi ko, wait, wait. Parang may, may nasabi ba akong living water today? Or I wrote something. Nalaala ko si Mavic na nagka-LBM. Sorry, Mavic. And sabi ko, Vic, drink a lot of water so that you will not become dehydrated. Wow, sabi ko, I don't, I, I don't believe it's just a coincidence. And he said that if you are spiritually dehydrated, sabi niya, just drink, just accept the living water which is the Lord God for you. Sabi niya, he already won the battle. And just look at him and with his open arms, just accept him, the living water, which is his presence in your life. Talagang umiyak ako. Umiyak ako. Kasi, and that's the time that I record. Ni record. Sinulat ko talaga dun sa, kasi wala akong journal, so sa mga, mga notes ko na meron akong insights. Sinulat ko talaga kasi I feel na this is an extraordinary day for me. Yung mga nangyayari. Alam mo yun, yung parang, parang, for me, it's a really miracle that, that the Lord God just did that for me to be, you know, restored. Kung bakit ako nagkaroon ng spiritually dehydrated, na dehydrate ka na. So, ni-record ko yun. And you know what's the title of the YouTube na pinapanood ko? Supernatural. So, supernatural talaga yung nangyari sa akin that day. So, you have to record. You have to record not just on your journal, but in the tablet of your heart. Amen. And when you record it, play it. Kasi makakalimutan mo rin pag hindi mo siya piniplay. Makakalimutan mo rin pag hindi mo siya sinishare. You just record it in the journal and then just leave it. Parang useless lang, di ba? So you have to share. You have to practice it para hindi mo makakalimutan. So after you record... Yun na pala yun. So, after you record, so, for the altar, 
A, always remember it's God's hands and not ours. L, light up your life with God's word. T, tell people about your spiritual markers. A, apply your learnings from your spiritual markers. B, it a blessing or discipline. Records your spiritual markers. Now, why the Lord God really commanded them to take the 12 stones to build a memorial for us to remember the works of the Lord ever since the world began. Amen po ba? God is God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And He can do it also for us. Now, when we receive Jesus Christ, when we receive Jesus Christ, He did not promise to us that we are stress-free, that we are struggle-free. Yet He said that in this world, you will face trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. Have you noticed, have you noticed that there were stories in the Bible that were repeated? Yes. Feeding of 5,000, feeding of 4,000, diba? So, paulit-ulit, for us to develop, Amen. not for us to, to be destroyed by the enemy, but for us to develop. So, you have to Remember that spiritual markers that you have in order to overcome whatever struggles that you may be facing. Amen, Amen po ba? So, now, for me, if you have an opportunity to the promises of the Lord, you just, you know, step in, stand firm, be clean. Amen po ba? Hindi yung uh, nigas kugon tayo, okay ngayon, tapos wala na. When you have, uh, when you are stepping in with your relationship with the Lord, you have to stand firm. Amen. Hindi yung, uh, wala naman si pastor ngayon, hindi mo na ako mag-church. Ay, bakasyon pala si pastor, hindi mo na, wala naman siya eh. Yung mga tipong ganun, stand firm with your relationship with the Lord. And remember those spiritual markers that he's doing to you right now. Because you can use that in the future and you can use that by sharing to other people so that they will be blessed. Amen, Amen po ba? So in closing, God will continue to give us bigger and bigger challenges and assignments in our Christian life each time we obey. Each time we obey, we have to step in, stand firm, and we will mature spiritually. When you record your spiritual markers in the tablet of your heart, see to it that you play it. Share it to the, so that it will not last forever. Challenge. What you gonna do about the Jordan River that you're facing right now? Will you step in and put your feet on the water and stand firm? Or are you satisfied with your situation today? Challenge. Decide right now to dip your feet on the Jordan River in your life. It could be a relationship with God, a ministry, your career, business, a decision to make, a dream to decide. Decide right now to step in, to stand firm with full of trust with the Lord so that your faith will keep growing. Amen? Are you blessed, church? Okay, to God be the glory. Thank you.